Hey guys, how are you all doing today? It's your friend Matt here again, and welcome back to another Borderlands 2 video. Today we're once again back in Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep, the most recent DLC for this game. And today we're looking at another one of the new Seraph items, known as the Florentine Submachine Gun. This submachine gun is very nice, and it does not have to be obtained from the Ancient Dragons of Destructions like in the past two videos for the Omen and the Stinger. Instead, the Florentine can just easily be obtained from trading with the Seraph Vendor in Flame Rock Refuge. So, it's basically kind of the older sibling of the Chulane SMG. For those who don't know, the Chulane SMG is a submachine gun in the main Borderlands 2 game that can be acquired from doing the Clan War series of quests, and that weapon basically does the same thing that the Florentine does, which is they both deal slag and shock elemental damage at the same time. Now for the Chulane SMG, a lot of people like that weapon, it was a pretty decent weapon in the main Borderlands 2 game, lots of people use it, but with the release of this Neo DLC and with the release of the Florentine submachine gun, Florentine, as I said before, is basically the older sibling of the Chulane SMG. It basically beats the Chulane in almost every category. The Florentine is more powerful than the Chulane. And there's also one more major improvement from the Chulane that has been added with the Florentine. With the Chulane SMG, you would always be slagged while using the weapon. So although you could deal the two elements of elemental damage with shock and slag with the Chulane, you yourself would always be slagged. So that was a huge downfall. But with the Florentine, that actually doesn't happen. That effect does not occur at all, and you're pretty much good to go for this weapon. It's a major improvement from the original version of it. Well, I guess it's not really the version. They're two different weapons, but you know what I mean. But if we just completely forget about the Chulane for a little bit here, if you just use the Florentine, it is a very good submachine gun. It's not some of the high-end ones that can deal some serious amount of damage, but it is a very decent weapon. The fact that you can use both of these elements at the same time have no consequences whatsoever for using them, and also deal a ton of elemental damage. It's very useful, and overall, I would definitely recommend this SMG, especially since you don't have to go through the Ancient Dragons of Destruction to get it. If you have enough Seraph for Crystals, you can easily buy them at the Seraph shop. So, there is one downfall that I could say about the Florentine, which is, you guys see me hip-firing a lot with this weapon. Basically, when you aim down sight with this, and with E-Tech submachine guns, it kind of creates a blurry effect that makes the gun very inaccurate when you're aiming down sight. So you see me hip firing a lot. That's the only downfall of this, the fact that it's an E-Tech submachine gun. I don't like the blur effect that you get when you're aiming down sight because it kind of blocks your vision. Also, this weapon consumes two ammo per shot. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's all I really got to say about this weapon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you later. Bye.